Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making Jamaican jerk beef bowls. I was about to say rolls. <laughs> beef bowls, we're not making Jamaican jerk beef rolls. I feel like that would be beef patties. Jamaican jerk beef bowls. So we're doing it with some ground beef, we're gonna have rice, and then we're gonna throw in some of the extra flavors of like jerk seasoning. Hold on one second, I don't even have all my ingredients over here yet. <laughs> all right, we're good now, we have our ingredients. This recipe is relatively easy. I already have the rice started on the burner behind me. I don't think you guys need a tutorial on making rice. I feel like you're probably probably pretty good in that area. If you do need a tutorial on rice, one cup of rice, one and one quarters cup of water if you're measuring, or you can just fill the water until it just about comes above the rice. You get it to a boil, and then you stick a lid over the top and let it simmer the rest of the way. For the jerk beef, we're gonna turn our stove to about anywhere from like, I, don't know, I would say like a five to a six. So about medium heat. And then I'll take my oil and give my pan a drizzle just to heat the oil first. And so we've got a bunch of really good stuff here. We have a habanero. We've got yellow bell pepper, some Jamaican jerk seasoning, which includes a ton of stuff. It's allspice, a little bit of cinnamon, it's thyme, it's lots and lots of dried herbs, dried chili, so it's a little bit spicy. Um, I'll put a full list of what's in Jamaican jerk seasoning down below. If you do not feel like buying every single one of those spices, totally understandable. Just buy Jamaican jerk seasoning at the store and then you can tweak it a little bit at home to your own taste. I also have a little bit of coconut aminos, which is kind of like soy, but it's a um, less carb, carby version of soy. And then of course my ground beef star of the show here. So what we're gonna do, oh, I also have some garlic here. But there's also garlic in the actual, okay. <laughs> there's garlic in the actual Jamaican jerk seasoning. Oof. And our rice is getting crunk over here, so. I am moving the lid back just a little bit. You don't want to fully cover it because it will boil over. And that is like a super annoying thing that rice does. All right, I don't even think I told you about all the ingredients that we have over here, but we've got a lot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is smash my garlic. Just be sure you're careful when you do that. You just wanna smash it enough to be able to peel. A couple of you guys mentioned in the last video, it's so funny seeing me like throw stuff away. I promise my sink is on the other side. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give my garlic a very rough chop. Oops, still had a little skin on that one. That's the best part about cooking with me is like, you just, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's fun. <laughs> so yeah, rough chop on that garlic. Doesn't have to be perfect. And since your oil is on a medium, they can go ahead and go in. We just don't wanna burn the garlic. Typically, if you're cooking at like a higher temp, you wanna be really careful of when you add your garlic in because you don't want it to burn because you don't want that like gross bitter taste. Then I have my habanero pepper and I am just going to give that a fine chop. So I want little pieces of the habanero. I am keeping the seeds in because I like my stuff spicy. I've also kind of gotten Brian on board with the spice, so. Also just be sure, here, let me safely chop on my cutting board. Um, be sure that you do not touch your face after messing with these seeds, because it does not feel good. And then let me give my garlic a stir, because it's looking a little toasty in here. There we go, pretty good. 
yeah, no burnt garlic. You wanna give it a stir, you just want it to be like nice and fragrant. So, fine chop here on our habanero. Typically for Jamaican recipes, I would use a scotch bonnet pepper, but they are not easy to find here in Texas. I usually can't find scotch bonnet, so I just go for a good habanero. So, get that into as little pieces as possible. And then here I'm gonna add my beef. So, I have 93.7 lean beef. I will wash this knife afterwards, don't worry about me at home, okay? So 93.7 beef and uh, we're gonna get that in the, in the pan. And then go ahead and get it nice and chopped up. And since it's lean ground beef, we're doing as much as we can to kind of infuse that flavor back in. And then I'll sprinkle over my jerk seasoning. So good. I grab my coconut aminos and sprinkle that in. It's about a tablespoon of coconut aminos and it adds like a nice savory kind of saltiness in there. You can see it looks like really good. And this cooks really fast. Like this recipe is done in just a few minutes. And I'll add also just a nice pinch of salt over the top. We'll kind of bring that to the center and let it do its thing. So it's got like a nice little gravy also, which I like. Let me wash my knife and my cutting board and then we'll get back to some of the other ingredients we're adding to this. All right, knife and cutting board are washed. I'm getting like a lot of that like peppery smell. I just was sneezing a little bit. Um, so that peppery smell is definitely coming through in the ground beef. It's looking good and smelling really good over here. So it's almost cooked. I feel like it's almost done. We'll take our yellow bell pepper, washed it, but did not get the sticker off. So then we'll just slice off the little top half, pull out the seeds, and then we want a diced bell pepper. So cut it in half, then into fourths. And into little strips. And depending on you know, like how you feel. I like to cut my bell peppers into pretty large pieces because I want to be able to see them in there. So, and then I also have a little lime over here after I'm done with my bell pepper and we'll just squeeze lime over the top. So, mixing in my bell pepper here. And people love jerk seasoning on chicken. I think that's how most people have had it. I really like it on anything. It's great with beef, like we're doing in this little bit of a stir fry bowl. It's great in, um, it's great with fish. It's really good with anything. It does have an overpowering flavor though. So I think definitely use it if you want that to be like the primary flavor of your dish. So let me try this and just see if it needs any additional seasoning. Mm. It's sweet, it's spicy, mostly spicy. Herbaceous, has like really great flavor. Mm. So nice, I love it already. All right, 
So I have my lime here. And we're just going to squeeze out the juice of this entire lime. Then we'll just give this another little stir. And I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit because I wanna get kind of like a nice crust on this ground beef. And we'll give our rice a check here. It's looking pretty good. Just steaming out the rest of the way. And then lastly, we have our green onion. And I love green onion in this recipe. Typically, you do add green onion to a jerk chicken, but I will just take my green onion and I want the dark green part. And I go for quite a bit of green onion. So I'm gonna get these into bowls and I will show you what else I add to make it super delicious. Jerk beef. And then I'm gonna add some avocado. Just a little bit of coolness to the recipe. Not necessarily Jamaican, but I like avocado, <laughs> so. I'm gonna add avocado to this bowl I made. So you can choose whether or not you wanna add avocado. It's up to you. And this one's beautiful. Got like the nicest looking avocado. I love it. So I'll just gently cut into my avocado here. And then circle around it and add it to the bowl. I did not do this in the prettiest way, so don't judge me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. And then, wow, fail. And there we go, our beautiful Jamaican beef bowl. That's literally how easy it is to make. I'm gonna go give this beautiful bowl to Brian and then I'm gonna make my own. So I have to go do that fast because I'm hungry. So actually I'm angry, I'm really angry. So this is going to Brian. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching me make this recipe, please do subscribe. Recipe is down in the description box in case it's easier for you to read and print a recipe to follow along instead of pausing a video and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.